Mr. Showstopper here to stop your show for a very important announcement. Clay Pallia here. Uh. I'm here with my friend, the one and only BW. Yo, yo, yo! We're doing a how to video. We're looking for the dragon shrines, the incense shrines, lighting all four, and then coming back here for the chest for the reward. Starting off here, opening our map. Where are we at, Mr. One and Only? Maggie's Hollow. Alrighty. It's to the right of the housing plot on the map. Or if you go out of the housing plot, you just hook a left and keep on and a little left. And it's in a nice little secluded area with the yellow colored leaf trees. Or whatever color that is. Yellowish gold? Kinda gold actually, right? Yeah. My colorblind? <laughs> Kinda like an autumn look over here. Alright, so start off with shrine number one, which is actually right here. Easiest one. So you just come up to it if you can walk up the hill. <laughs> no way. Uh, yes. And we've already done them, but it'll come up to it and you'll press F and they'll light it. So that's number one right here. I'll go on the map. It's literally right to the left of Maggie's Hollow. Maggie's Hollow. You heard it here, folks. All right. If you want to take point, my good sir. All right, I'll even put a mark on the map. Right here, we're going to put a mark on this house right show. And we'll start going this way from the shrine we just lit. I see it on the map. I'll take a direct path. I won't do my jumping and gliding and stuff. We'll take the direct route. So, For people that aren't familiar with the layout and stuff. Or don't have a glider yet, too. True. Well, I could just glide. Like, just jump and glide. <laughs> right. We're going to go up these paths. We're going to round up right past the housing plots. I'm not familiar with what everybody's house is and everything, so I'm just going to call it that house. <laughs> the house. <laughs> this house might actually be the guy, uh, the apothecary guy. We're going to come down here. We're going to take a right. Right at the fork. And we're going to come up to this house right here. It's very nice out in front. I, I wish, wish I lived here. I love, look at, look how pretty this is. Very pretty. I like it. But you go in this house and literally straight to the back. Boom. Shrine number two. Light it. And that's two out of four. And then I'm going to go on the map and we're going to highlight down here. Past the farm, behind the farm. Right by Gillyfin Cove. Which is pretty much a straight shot from where we are. So I'll run through the fields on this one. Alright. If you don't have a glider, don't worry. I won't take glider paths. Because there's some parts where you can get stuck in the water. And you'll essentially drown and it'll just respawn you out. But you don't have to worry about that right now. Straight to the fields. By the way, a little uh, tidbit, this field usually has, let's see if I can find, oh yep, right here, boom, this field usually has this stuff called spice sprouts, and you're going to want to save those up, because sometimes they're used for quests, sometimes they're used for other things and whatnot, but what I use them for is for cooking, and they make some pretty good meals to keep that focus bar full. And in this game, how it's geared towards co-op, you can do co-op cooking to where everybody gets the meal, so... Definitely want to keep some of those on hand. I love the co-op cooking. It's actually it's fun. It's so awesome. Really fun. The boost, the actual animation and playing, mm -hmm. being involved in it. Oh, yeah. Sometimes the spice sprouts also spawn back behind the farm. It'd be great if one showed up for a reference point. Uh, I don't see one though. <laughs> right. It's all good. <laughs> Always check behind it though, because you can find one or two. Alright, and we're coming up to the third shrine right here. And you light it, and I'll go on the map again just so you can see where we are. I'll zoom in. Perfect spot for clay as well. If you follow the water route. Clay. And then you're going to want to go on the map after this. Yes, true. Hmm. There's a, a lot of good clay on this beach. <laughs> And then um, you're going to want to go on the map, look for Kalimba Village, 
And then right south of that is an apothecary. We're going to put a marker on that, and we're going to head towards that. Later on, we'll do a video of how to find all the chests in this area, because there's a lot of hidden chests that you either have to glide to, or do some parkouring type movement to. So I be on the lookout for one of those videos in the next coming week. Right, I have definitely not got all of them, so that will be perfect. <laughs> Especially yeah. the parkour, so <laughs> stay tuned for that one. Jared's a big fan of parkour, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, my out of shape body can do it in real life. Another tip, games. <laughs> another tip as we're passing by, um, there's these billboards here where you can fast travel to certain points around the map, including going home for 10 gold if you don't want to wait for that pesky go home timer on your map, which is 30 minutes from use. So, continue. Uh, this field right here usually has a lot of... What's that What's that one? Is it sun? Actually, there's one right here. This field right here usually has a bunch of this flower right here, which is a... Sun, sun drop, drop lily. Yeah. Yep. And it also has the uh, carpet moss, I believe. All right, about 80 meters out of the apothecary. Bada bing, bada boom. Wish you can climb up walls. Such a. Wish you can climb up anything in this game. So we're going to go in here to the apothecary and immediately turn to the left. Like that. And that should be four out of four. So now we're going to do it on Mark on the map again, just in case. Go back to Maggie's Hollow Shrine. Okay, like that. And we're going to go back that way. And once you get there, that big main shrine we started at will have a chest that has gold and a few other things, one of which. I won't spoil the surprise, but it's pretty cool. I'll give you a hint, though. It has to do with uh, your house. Come up here. Such a beautiful game. It's fun running around. Right. I'm so happy I got the glider finally. Get yeah, the main it's nice. Story right away. Get the glider done. Mm -hmm. Definitely useful. So with all four of those shrines lit, we're gonna go to this big, awesome-looking dragon statue right here where we started. And right at the base, right here where I'm standing, shit. Oops, I just increased my maximum focus. But that's okay. <laughs> there should be a chest right here that has your rewards. This has been a how-to with the Nimrods. <laughs> and so, boom, that would be a cut right there in a video. All right. Let's see. I'll actually cut that too. 